I spent a lot of 2020 working on this really long piece for the Atlantic that started out, I started in March on how we all came together at the time of COVID. And I was really working on that angle. And by April or May, I could not sustain it because there was really very little evidence. In the beginning in March, I think a lot of neighbors really did come together. But by May, June, let alone the fall, when the sort of spiking again, it was clear to me that we hadn't shown up for each other, that we hadn't locked down sufficiently. We hadn't really conquered the disease the way we could have if we were a different kind of country. Instead, we got in fights over masks and all that other stuff. And then, so I, I thought it was what could have been a unifying was an isolating for a lot of people. Second, um, the effect of lockdown, in some ways, I'm a writer, I'm alone most of the time anyway, uh, you know, but um, in some ways it was a nice pause. In some ways I found the last quarter of COVID and I'm presuming we're toward the end, harder than the others. I found I beat my introversion muscles built up and my extroversion muscles atrophied. I found a weird sense of fragility somehow entered into life. I don't know why it hit me that late. Maybe the cumulative exhaustion. Adam Grant wrote a piece in my newspaper about languishing, sort of the lack of desire. Uh, and so the, the accumulation uh, of, and I, I felt it as a, a, a loss of moral purpose almost. I, you, we forget how much of our just moral purpose is like, I'm hosting you, I see your wine glass is empty, so I fill it. Like, just the little acts of hospitality. And so I found that period hard. And I'm now thinking of this opportunity of unmasking as we unmask, as we physically unmask. And I'm hoping as we psychologically and emotionally unmask. Uh, and um, I told some college kids like, I'm gonna enjoy all the things I didn't used to enjoy, like going to a bar, I'll be good because it's so crowded oh, that'll be fun and i told them i i'm going to go to age inappropriate concerts i don't care if they don't want a boomer at their cardi b concert i'm still going i i'm, I'm going to be happy and go to age inappropriate concerts and i'm hoping we'll appreciate what i think will be a great second half of the year and just appreciate it for what it is uh, and take it as an opportunity to not only unmask physically, but unmask in a lot of different ways. And it's just not an opportunity that comes along to a country that, mm -mm. that often. And so I, I see this as maybe we didn't do COVID so great, but maybe we can un-COVID and undo all the things COVID tried to do to us, which was mm -hmm. to separate us.